When you're entertaining, it can be a little difficult sometimes with respect to timing. So the nice thing about a sous vide, it's not going to overcook, which means you can finish making your side dishes, you can get everything plated, and then all you have left to do is enjoy. It's time to add whatever other spices you want to put in there. I'm going to put in fennel and rosemary, garlic, bay leaves, and then of course you're also going to put in butter, and I'll also put in olive oil. In the case of today, I'm just really using what I have trying to cook with what's already in my pantry. So now that the water is heated up or the water has circulated with the sous vide circulator and gotten to the point that I want it to be temperature wise, which is 157 degrees, it's time for everybody to get into the pool. You wanna make sure that the meat is entirely covered and now you just let it be one to two hours and it will not overcook. I've done a temperature to get it to a point of medium because then I'm going to finish it off in the pan, so now you just get to chill. It's time to look into my fridge and find what I can make to go with it. So I actually found some leftover pineapple and I'm going to make a little salsa with it. Now, it's not gonna be a traditional tomato salsa, but I figured because apples go with pork, I'm thinking pineapple probably goes with pork, and so a little pineapple salsa to go with dinner tonight. I don't happen to have any cilantro in my fridge, and frankly, it's not one of those things I tend to keep very often in my fridge. So luckily, I actually have spray-on cilantro, and uh, the great thing about Simply Beyond is it's actually herbs. It's herbs and canola oil. There's nothing else in it. It's completely organic, and just a quick little spray will taste as though it's got fresh cilantro in it. That's gonna be really good with pork. Time to finish the pork so that it not only looks appetizing but of course you've got that last little bit of flavor when you caramelize the outside of the pork tenderloin. Dish up your salsa, place your pork on the plate in a way that looks appealing, try to think of your favorite restaurants, how they've done it, and then put your dish on the table. No matter how it looks, I guarantee it's going to taste absolutely delicious and because you've used the sous vide, it gives you a lot more flexibility when you're entertaining. I hope you enjoyed these great tips from me, from my kitchen to yours, using ingredients you might already have in the freezer. And remember, intuitive cooking is very easy. All you have to do is think about flavor profiles that you know have worked in the past. It's guaranteed to be a great meal.